Unsure what to do when you can't sleep? Check out this video to find six steps on what you can do to help you fall back asleep if you're stuck awake in the middle of the night. Step number one, go to a different room. If we lie in bed for more than 20 minutes, our brain begins to associate our bed with staying awake. So by going to a different room, we are training our brain to be able to evaluate that the bed is meant for sleeping. So when we go to a different room and when we start to get tired and groggy, we can go back to our bed and then we'll feel sleepy and be more susceptible to falling asleep rather than lying in bed awake for hours on end and our brain starting to think that the bed is meant for being awake. Step two is read a book. Now this doesn't have to be something uh, very uh, tough to digest. Maybe it's a novel, maybe it's just an easy read on leadership, whatever it is. Take time to read a book and if you do so, do not do so on a laptop screen or an iPad screen, but preferably paperback. But if you ha want to go more of the technological route, a Kindle is fine as well because there is no blue light, which makes our brain think that it's daytime and it is much more alert to blue light as opposed to just reading a paperback or a Kindle. Step three, write out your worries and your thoughts on a piece of paper. All this takes is a pen and paper and just write down what might be keeping you up. Your worries, your concerns, relational aspects, maybe it's related to your job, maybe you just had some good ideas, whatever it is, write it down on a piece of paper and just know that it is there so you can just get it out and that way your brain isn't having to harbor all this extra data that can just be placed on a paper. Step four is stretching. Stretching can help to relax our body. So by taking just a few minutes to just get up and do some stretches in all different parts of our body, our legs, our arms, our back, whatever it might be, that can help relax us and get us ready to falling asleep again. Step five is do some mundane tasks. By doing certain chores or jobs around the house in the middle of the night, now obviously we don't wanna to be too loud and wake up our family, but if we tend to do that, our body's going to be more prone to wanting to go to bed because we don't want to do those mundane And lastly, step six, trick yourself through your speech. You, we can trick ourselves by saying when we're up for more than 20 minutes that, oh, I'm going to try and stay up for two to three hours. And when we tell ourselves this, automatically we begin to dread that very thought. But by tricking ourselves and saying, let's shoot for staying up for two to three hours, that has been proven to show on certain levels to make us more tired and more susceptible to falling asleep. Now obviously, uh, if it's not working right away, do some of the other steps as well. But these are six steps that will help you if you find yourself awake in the middle of the night. Feel free to check out more of our videos on Tiger Medical Institute on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel um, for weekly videos regarding anything on peak performance, preventive medicine, how to uh, prevent yourself from Alzheimer's, and many other topics and wide varieties that can help you unleash the peak performer within you.